when I was diagnosed with ALS. I made a conscious decision not to allow this disease to define me. I have continued living a full life, doing the things I have always liked to do, and modified them as my limitations grew. I have tried to make the most of my life, spending time with the people I love, and focusing my attention on recovery. The phrase, strength of mind, body, and spirit, epitomizes Musa Malik's journey throughout life. From a very early age, Musa displayed an instinctive passion for living. As a natural athlete, he excelled at a number of sports. As a businessman, he built and ran a highly successful real estate investment and management company. And as a family man, he embraced the role of husband and father, dedicating much of his time and attention to his wife and three children. Musa was a self-made man, living each day by the motto, enjoy the moment. Well, Musa was always a very physical man. I would call him an extreme athlete. He really was. Um, everybody looked up to him for his athleticism and his physique and the way he carried himself. And, but I think when you're stripped from all of those physical attributes, what is left is what is inside. And those kind of get exaggerated. And you really see it uh, come to play. Um, I'm amazed of what a strong person he is. So when you meet Musa today, six years after being diagnosed with ALS, living in a body that is slowly being ravaged by the effects of the disease, it's easy to overlook what he has lost in physical ability and be impressed by a man that exudes the same strength, determination, and love that has become embedded in every fiber of his character as he refuses to let ALS conquer him. I have been able to cope with this illness by focusing my attention to recovering from it. I meditate daily. I visualize myself healthy and active. As my limitations grow, so is my desire to beat this illness. His regimen also includes regular trips with his wife to the ocean, where he finds strength in his connection with the sea. This combination of disciplines allows him to harness the mental and physical powers necessary to face each day with a commitment to enjoy every moment, moments that are now much more meaningful than ever before. He finds things to enjoy, and he makes the most out of, out of the situation. Right. And he can look back now and say he didn't regret not doing something or not going somewhere, or not taking advantage of the opportunity. Because he always has lived in the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't waste any time. No. My dad is always on the go. Go, go, go. <laughs> Today, Musa still serves as a teacher and mentor to both family and friends, imparting his wisdom, not so much with his words, but through his actions. When they come to him with problems that they, they see as big problems for them, when they see him with all his challenges, dealing with it peacefully and gracefully, they kind of go back home and they say, we have no problem. Life is great. You know, they, you know, they find that what it seems big to them is really nothing. For the past six years, Musa Malik has faced ALS head on and has not backed down, choosing instead to stay focused on what he and his family feel certain is waiting just around the corner. Living with ALS has given me a much sharper focus more time to reflect and appreciate my life and all the personal connections, love, and friendships I have formed. I consider myself a lucky man to have lived a balanced full life, interconnected to many wonderful people.